You see this little port here at the bottom of your iPhone 15 and 15 Pro? Are you using it only to charge your phone? This little port can do a lot more things than just charge your phone. You can literally use your iPhone as a computer. Slowly adding more and more USB-C functionalities, I'll show you how your iPhone turns into a full computer as we progress in this video. Not just that, there are many other uses of this port that I will show you today. I promise you will definitely start using your iPhone 15 Pro USB port more than what you're doing now. So let's get started. First up mirroring your iPhone screen. That's right, you can use an external monitor to mirror your iPhone screen to a much larger display. I have an iPhone 15 Pro so the screen isn't as big as the Max version. So whenever I need some extra screen real estate, I just use a USB-C to HDMI cable to connect my phone to my monitor. And seamlessly you have mirrored your phone to a much bigger screen. This functionality has come in handy so many times for me. When I do photo editing, the larger screen makes accessing the changes much easier. Just photo viewing experience on a large screen is so good with an external large display. It's like a 27 inch iPad. You don't need AirPlay, you don't need another Apple device. This will work on your TV, monitor or any device that accepts an HDMI input. There is another huge advantage of mirroring the display. It's pretty mind-blowing and I will reveal that after my second use case. Okay, second, using a keyboard or mouse with your iPhone through USB-C. If you have a wired keyboard, just connect it to USB-C port of your iPhone 15 Pro. This opens up a ton of possibilities. The iPhone 15 Pro will power your keyboard and you can type anywhere wherever you would use an on-screen keyboard. Messages, your browser, but more importantly now you can write a whole document on your iPhone with an external attached keyboard so easily. I sometimes write my YouTube scripts on my iPhone directly this way. Okay, typing fast and large paragraphs easily is one advantage. There are a few other advantages as well. You see when you type your keyboard blocks almost half the screen while typing. This is especially obtrusive on a small phone. When you connect an external keyboard, the on-screen keyboard doesn't pop up and you get the full view of your content while being able to type easily. Another advantage, you get access to all the shortcuts. Control plus space will open the spotlight. Copy paste using command C and V. Selecting text using keyboard is all available once you add an external keyboard. Feels like it's getting close to a full-fledged computer. There's even more. Just like a keyboard, you can attach an external mouse to your iPhone. I'm doing here with a cheap USB-C dongle. Now go to settings, accessibility, touch and turn on assistive touch. There you go. Your iPhone now has a mouse pointer that you can use exactly how you use your fingers. Scroll wheel even works. Scrolling is easy, pointing and clicking things is easy, dragging and dropping items like photos to another app is easy. It just makes using the iPhone so much easier. Apple has hit many other mouse tricks. You can set a shortcut for other buttons on the mouse for custom actions. You can use the right click button to show notification center control center, lock the device, run a shortcut or anything that you want. I have set it to show the notification center, but the choice is yours. If your mouse has more buttons, you can set custom actions for every single button. Just go to settings, accessibility, touch, assistive touch and devices. You can see your mouse here. Tap on it and add customizable actions for your mouse buttons. Okay, we have a monitor, we are using a keyboard and a mouse. Can't we just put these together? You absolutely can. Use a USB-C hub like I'm doing here to connect an external monitor, a mouse and a keyboard or through Bluetooth for keyboard and mouse and you yourself have got a full-fledged computer. To be fair, this is even more powerful than some laptops. The experience is pretty decent. I use it to type, edit and revise whole YouTube scripts and it absolutely works. This comes in very handy when I travel anywhere. I take my portable keyboard and mouse and I've got myself a full working computer. Safari works almost like desktop version. Editing on Lightroom is easier. Google Docs, all good enough for this makeshift computer. You're getting an iPad experience without requiring you to shell another $500 or more with some accessories you already have at home. What about storage? What can we do with 128 gigs of storage on the iPhone? Can you add an external storage like SSD or or memory card, you can as well. This is a 1TB SanDisk SSD. When I attach it to my iPhone or to the USB hub which I have attached to my iPhone, it shows up just like a disk on the Files app. Now, transfer files, work directly off your SSD, backup iPhone and a lot more. You have easily expanded your iPhone storage now as well. A terabyte storage cost an extra $500 from Apple. This SSD cost me less than $60. Not just SSD, even a micro SD card, external thumb drive, a 
एच डी डी और एनी लो कॉस्ट एक्सटर्नल स्टोरेज विल वर्क एज वेल ओके वॉट एस कैन यू डू विद दिस पोर्ट अ लॉट मोर एक्चुअली वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड द पोर्ट हैज पावर डिलीवरी मीनिंग यू नॉट ओनली कैन चार्ज योर आई फोन बट यू कैन चार्ज अदर एक्सेसरीज एज वेल विद योर फोन एयरपोर्ट्स एनी अदर स्मार्ट फोन इवन एपल वॉचेस आई समटाइम्स यूज इट टू चार्ज माई ब्लूटूथ माउस एज वेल इन अ पिंच इट्स लाइक कैरिंग अ पावर बैंक इन योर पॉकेट ऑल द टाइम नेक्स्ट एक्सटर्नल वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग दिस इज स्पेसिफिक टू आई फोन फिफ्टीन प्रो सीरीज योर फोन कम्स विद प्रो लेवल फीचर टू कैप्चर वीडियो इन प्रोरेस एंड प्रोरेस लॉग दीज आर हाई बिट रेट एंड लार्ज वीडियो फॉर्मेट्स दैट योर फोन के नॉट हैंडल इंटरनली स्पेशली एट सिक्सटी फ्रेम्स पर सेकेंड सो टू कैप्चर दीज हाई क्वालिटी वीडियोज यू कैन कनेक्ट एन एक्सटर्नल एस एस डी लाइक वी सॉ बिफोर एंड योर आई फोन कैमरा विल रिकॉर्ड दो प्रोरेस सिक्सटी फ्रेम पर सेकेंड वीडियो एक्सटर्नली टू एस एस डी दिस इज एन अमेजिंग फीचर स्पेशली इफ यू पोस्ट प्रोसेस योर वीडियो इवन सम एक्सपेंसिव डी एस एल आर डो नॉट हैव दी एबिलिटी टू रिकॉर्ड इन दीज format natively if you want to take backup of the photos on your iphone with usb c it's easier now just attach a storage device to your iphone like ssd thumb drive or memory card there are so many apps that will take a complete backup of your iphone photos to an external storage copy that is one such app while there are few others as well you can use it to periodically backup your photos elsewhere there are some other ways i use my iphone 15 pro usb c port i record videos for instagram and youtube shots on the iphone to get some good audio you i attach an external usb c microphone to my iphone the iphone recognizes it immediately and i'm able to record high quality audio directly onto my iphone videos this comes especially handy when it's windy or i'm talking quite a bit far from the iphone i also take quite a lot of photos on my sony camera no matter how much of a smartphone cameras have gotten better it can't match the real camera so a camera stays always when i go out and i take a ton of photos i even take my thumbnail photos with it to share the photos with friends family and social media i transfer it seamlessly using the usb c on my iphone i use this inexpensive usb c sd card reader hook my camera sd card into it and directly download all the photos using the native photos app into my library it's so easy so fast and the interface is made simple as well i even shared this sd card reader as a must have accessory in my best iphone 15 accessories video i leave a link in the description if you want to check out some other best iphone accessories if you like usb c port was forced onto apple after the eu regulation and is one of the best things that happened to the iphone in a very long time just know that the usb c port on the iphone 15 pro series is a much faster usb 3.2 speed port while the port on the iphone 15 series is a slower usb 2.0 port you still can do a lot of things with that port but there will be limitations okay those are my favorite use cases of the usb c port on my iphone 15 and 15 pro other than just charging my My phone. If you have other interesting use cases that you use, let me know in the comments below. I hope it was a useful video. If it was, a like and subscribe would be wonderful. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye bye.